Hi. Hi there. I want to welcome you all to my special conventioneers hour. I want you to take off those hats, loosen those ties, take off your shoes and relax for the next hour because you are going to watch the hottest show on TV after these messages. Well, after this film that I will be showing, I will be going live for a few minutes where I could take your phone calls. So the number is 475-1550. I would like to thank Brian Elba for the camera work tonight. And Eddie Carabelli, thank you for the interview that he taped for us on Friday. So stay tuned. Hi, welcome back, and I would like to first say thank you to El Calcutta, and that's at the Edison Theater. There are our sponsors, and Cinema X, and Bobby Hollander, thank you. Coming up next, I have a special treat special treat. I will be trying to take some live phone calls during the interview. I have a taped interview of the actress of the year, Samantha Fox. It's taped because she is now in Philadelphia performing in a theater and she was unable to be with us tonight. But the next best thing is to have her on tape. So if we're ready in the control booth, we will have the tape. Okay, here we go. And here we go. I would like to ask you, since you're Porn Actress of the Year, how does it feel? It just feels like, well, the night it happened, it felt great. To be up there and not expect to get this award, I really didn't. I haven't thought about it. People said, Samantha, you're going to win. You're going to win. And I said, <laughs> how could I win? I mean, Georgina Spelvin, Gloria oh, they're Leonard. they're so fine. It was just luck. It was a good film. It was a good piece of acting that I was allowed to do. Jack how? and Jill. Jack, that's what they judged it for, yeah. Jack and Jill? I thought that was fabulous. Jack and Jill was a fabulous <laughs> film. Thank you. And they even made a coloring book for it. It right. was great. Um, uh, when you first started into porn, when was that? How long ago? Gloria Leonard and I were sitting on top of the Hyatt Hotel at the pool trying to figure that exact thing out about a month ago. And she says it's four and a half years. So if she says it's four and a half years, that's what it is. <laughs> four and a half years. That's great. That's great. And do you remember what you did, your first film? Do you remember your first film? I know I did because it was... Oh, yeah. Um, the first one was Here Comes the Bride. Oh, yes. That was... It was a funny film. Very funny. I, I've heard a lot about it. And how did you feel doing it? because it was, was your first film. To be honest with you, Robin, I am so nervous in front of a camera to this day, but not nearly as nervous as I used to be. I couldn't even take a family picture with a Polaroid. It just drove me crazy. I'd hide behind someone, or just at the last minute, maybe smile, and it would really go to, you know, like one of these. <laughs> and um, I couldn't have even, I, I really, it's, it's a bad thing to say, because I worked with David Morris who's very, very good looking first. and put me at ease. But I, I almost d didn't even feel the sex. I didn't even feel my lines. I didn't feel anything. I, I was all the time thinking, all those people are looking at me through this camera, and that one has a camera, and that's all I was thinking about. 
that, <laughs> that would be strange, right? That would be strange. So I, mean, I really I've, never had a chance to become nervous about the sexual part till later, till a few <laughs> films later when I got more comfortable with the camera and realized that sometimes producers bring their friends on the set and, right. and or there's extra crew that aren't necessary. And that's when I start saying, hey, get that one out of here and get that one out of here. You know, like all the free rides, you know, you can see them tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, just like, uh, just like before. <laughs> um, this is a very f interesting question. Recently, oh, about a few, about six months ago, I was reading it in the paper. And I don't know if anyone else has read it, but it was on WINS News for a while. Mount Pleasant. Remember Mount Pleasant in New Jersey? Oh, wait. With John you, Holmes. You read it? I read it. The New Jersey paper, by the yeah. way. Yeah, well, of in course. Uh, we were on the front page of right. New Jersey Star, Star Journal. Star Ledger. Lost, right. and, and that, well, th the three major, two or three major newspapers they have in New Jersey, which I have mentally blocked out because... I was um, the lucky person to be on a set that got busted about two or two and a half years ago. I don't even, I really don't, it was right. in summer, that's all I know, we were very warm, I think it was 78, we were, it was 78. Was it 70? I remember that I was supposed to do that one and yeah, you I... You were smart. <laughs> and I just felt something, did you, did you, did you feel anything in you your You know something? That's it was a very strange shooting because I had one day on that, two days on that. Right. And then I had a, you know, with like special guest appearance, which I've only done three times. And then right after that was that picture Misbehaving that I was supposed to oh, do, which was a big sure, comedy. Sure. On location, great, Candlewood Lake in Connecticut. And um, yeah, I thought, well, working with Serena, I was going to have my first chance to work with Serena, and I just always wanted to meet her. And wasn't John Holmes on And John show? Holmes I wanted to meet. Yeah. So I said, okay, my husband was saying, don't do the shoot. You don't need the money, and um, get ready for your big shoot. And I said, oh, you know, piggy wiggy me. I just, at the time, I was dying to do as much work as possible. I do film back to back to back to back at well, the time. I was filming like a maniac. Let me. Whatever happened from with that case? Did it? Okay. Uh, maybe I you might not want to talk about. Pleaded not guilty. <laughs> I wasn't guilty, Your Honor. Did they catch <laughs> you in the act? No. I was drinking beer and. And I thought that I was getting busted for drinking beer in a public place <laughs> at night. You know, like, the, I've been a good girl, a good, wholesome American girl here, you know. Because sex is beautiful. I, I wasn't doing anything wrong. And then I thought I was getting busted for the beer. So I see all these brown, because they wear brown uniforms in Jersey. I see all these right. brown uniforms come filing, and I just took my can. And we, we were in a beauty parlor filming. Yes, yes. And I had finished filming. I was completely dressed. We had we had a blanket in the cell. There were four ladies in the cell. The, the camera lady, in this case, Roberta. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> the producer's wife, Serena, and myself. And all three of you were family for the next two four days. Of us. Four. All four. And, and they took the blanket and, and spread it over us. And then I took off my bathing suit and just put the other jacket on with the blue shorts. Mm -hmm. And she had a blue bathing suit now underneath this see-through red lace negligee, right. Now that you're actress of the year, it seems that you've taken it to the limit. Do you feel mm. you can go any higher than that? Or what's next after, um, after getting awards? Well, that's one award. <laughs> you know, um, they, they asked me if I expected to win this year, and I said no. And I, was, I truly meant it. It was such a surprise, I broke into tears because I, I really didn't know what to say. And the sheer joy of being acclaimed for something, where people stand up, 600 people in a room stand up, and you hear all those hands clapping and all those faces like little light bulbs, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's so overwhelming. Energizing. And I just yeah. burst into tears. And I said, thank you, I love you, and I waved it all, and I went <laughs> running off. Oh, that's great. And, um, but this year, I would like to win this year. This year, I want to choose to win. I didn't elect to win. I mean, this coming year. You mean you vote yourself in? No, 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 but I'm voting. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. I would, I would like to win this year because I have what I think are my best pictures yet are going to be coming out. I, so I would like they still to haven't seen Pink Ladies yet. I, ha I don't know. I don't, you are great in Pink Ladies. I have never seen Pink Ladies. Well, 
if we have time, I'll show it to you after Good. the tape. It's fabulous, really fabulous. Um, when you were uh, nominated for Actress of the Year, what did you feel your best performance was in a movie, other than Jack and Jill, because you were nominated for that, but did you feel that that was your best performance in that movie, or um, you might have done something? Okay, out of all the films that were nominated to be shown, right. that was the best. But as yet, unreleased, even though they've already, they're my films, they're in the can, but right. as yet, unreleased is a film called Dracula Exotica. And I was just telling the lovely people here that earlier all about it, and it took 21 days to make. It took over a year to edit. Oh, my. Um, That's a big production. Yeah, it co cost way over budget. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we love that, right? When we just spend all that money. Um, um, so what are your plans for the future, besides kidnapping me? <laughs> besides kidnapping you, uh, like I told you, I really want to win the award for 81 for Best Actress or Best Supporting. But I, I really think Best Actress and the year after Best Supporting Actress and then and then um, just every year after that Best Supporting Actress. <laughs> <laughs> you give her an award and she wants the whole set. Okay. Well, Sam, thank you very much for coming down and, and taking the time out. Uh, I don't know. Would you like to dance off yeah. with me? Yeah, fabulous. Great. Thank you.
All right. All right. Was that film hot enough for you? Well, if you think that was hot, you are in for a treat. This is the Hot Lake Show, and I'm Robin Bird, your host. And this is a one-hour special. So if you're used to turning off this television show at 12.30, you just lie back because we have another half hour more to go. With, if you think that was hot, it's getting hotter. I'm going to take some live phone calls. And after my phone calls, we will go to, her name was Lisa. There's a new movie that's playing now at the Rendezvous Theater which stars Samantha Fox and Vanessa Del Rio. We will switch to that and then back to me. But first, some phone calls. Hello? Hot Legs. Hot Legs this is. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Yourself? Good, real good. I just wanted to know what you use on your legs. You use any cream or anything like that because it looks so silky and so soft. <laughs> Only the sperm knows. Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you? You're Fine, thanks. Yourself? Your hot legs are absolutely very delightful. Thank you. And uh, I was just wondering, is there any possibility uh, that you might ever have a spanking scene on the Hot Lake show? Is it legs and bottoms are so oh, close to Oh, that's... That's interesting. That's interesting. I'll have to look through the tapes. I'll have to look through our films. I think a lot of people would kind of like that, especially if it was somewhat live. Ooh, spanky, spanky. Uh, hello, Robin. Hello. Robin? Yes. I just want to thank you for your wonderful show you have here. Well, thank you very much. Are you a conventioneer? Oh, no. I'm a, I'm a New York City folk. Okay. But I just want you to know I'm taping the show and sending it to my brother up in Rochester, and he's going to love it. Oh, they don't have anything like this in Rochester. You better believe it. Okay. All right, have a good night. Regards to your brother. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Robin. Hi. How you doing? Fine, thanks. I'm Who's the this? call of the call to Rich. I called you two weeks ago with the two guys from the sticks. Remember that call? Perhaps. You, you Perhaps. said it was one of the best phone calls you ever got. <laughs> um, we really love your show. We watch it every Hi, week. Robin. Thank you. Hi. How you doing? Good, thanks. It, things look great. Great. You've got a great show. you got a hit. Super. I, I worked very hard on this one in particular because um, getting Samantha Fox, she's so busy, 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 getting her to do this taped interview can that I, I did can with Can I her. ask you something? It, tell me if I have the name right. Wade Nichols? Yes. Is he currently on a soap opera? Um, gee. I think he has a uh, role on one of these All My Children or something. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yes, I saw which, him which and one? I had seen a couple of films. Well, I'll be looking for him. Yeah. One more thing. Are you going to keep this an hour show? Oh, I would love to. It, it would be fantastic. Goodbye, Rob. <laughs> Bye now. Half hour is too short. I wish I wish I had all the time in the world to do this. Yeah, you need more sponsors too, I guess. Much more sponsors yeah. to okay, do this. Okay, well, hour. good luck with it. I'm we crossing my show. fingers. Okay, Thanks. bye bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're hot. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so, what can we do for you? I don't know. I just uh, wondered if I saw you out in Southampton this last week. <laughs> Southampton? Where's yeah, that? I don't know. You crossed the bridge on the other side. <laughs> well, let me say that um, I don't think they would let me in the town, to tell you quite honestly. Well, you sure looked uh, like you were there. <laughs> well, I just flew in from Fire Island. Yeah, well, knock them dead. Okay. Right on. Bye now. Hello. 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 <laughs> I was wondering what were you doing after the show? Well, at one o'clock in the morning, I think I'd be uh, resting. <laughs> the what? Resting. Sleeping. Ah, okay. You need anybody for a massage? Not tonight. Hello. Yeah, can I have your pumps? My pulse? Your pumps. My your shoes. 
Ooh. Perhaps, perhaps when I can't wear them anymore, <laughs> write it and we'll give them away. <laughs> well, we could get into it anyway. Well, not today. Hello. Hello. Yes. Terrific one hour special tonight. Well, keep on watching because I have film clips from Her Name Was Lisa, which is currently showing at the Rendezvous Theater. And also Pink Ladies, which will be opening up next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, that's the 20th of August at the Rendezvous. So you keep on watching and I'm you'll watching. see some film clips uh, of And both I want to say one more thing. The music is fantastic on this program. Once the girls do their act, and especially when you strip like that. Why Thanks. don't you take it all off one time? Well, just keep on watching. Because if I took it off, nobody watch. would watch yeah, it. We'll all watch it. We'll watch more. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe for Christmas. <laughs> okay, that will be great. Okay. Uh, Christmas present. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. What are your favorite positions for sex? Lying down. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, yes. I'd like to ask you, when can you bring back Long John Silver? What can I what? When can you bring back Long Don Silver? Oh, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, this is the Robin Bird Show, and I have him on special guests once in a while, but uh, perhaps when we get another hour, we might be able to bring him on. Okay. Bye now. Hello. Hello, Robin. Yes. Hi, I want to know, what makes you so hot? All these lights here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to, if, if you'd hold your phone calls for a moment, I would like to show you some scenes from Her Name Was Lisa that's currently showing at the Rendezvous Theater starring Samantha Fox and Vanessa Del Rio. And I, if you watch very carefully, you might even see a little bit of me in there. <laughs> and that was her name was Lisa, now showing at the Rendezvous Theater on 54th Street. Go see it. It's a hot film. It was rated 100% on a Peter Meter by Al Goldstein's Screw Magazine. And I also have another special film coming up, some outtakes, where Samantha and I are also starring in it. I'm starring in the movie Pink Ladies. But I will take some phone calls just to be fair to everyone. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Fine. Listen, how um, the only thing is that seeing my television, it doesn't have no sound, so I was watching your show with no sound. I just like, you know, could you tell me what just happened? What oh. Movie was? Next call. Well, uh, I guess you're going to have to see uh, your listen, TV listen, repairman. <laughs> Hi, do you have sound? Yeah. OK, you have a good TV then. That's right. I'm a delegate from Indiana. All right. And I'm in my, my hotel room right now. I just turned on the set, and uh, we don't have much anything like this in Indiana. Well, I would vote it in. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> right. Tell you about this time in uh, Indiana. Robin Bird for president. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if I become president. <laughs> if you become president. I would have pornography on TV. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just for R and R. No, no social reasons, just for R&R. &R. Mm -hmm. Rest and relaxation. What does R&R &R stand for? So you're enjoying it? Yeah, it's very, usually at this time I'd be watching like reruns of Beat the Clock. <laughs> in, uh, in Indiana. So, so now you don't have to let your meat loaf, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oops. Hi. Hi, hi Robin, it's Peter. Hi Peter. How are you? Fine, thanks. Did you like the film? No, I thought it was pretty crummy. Tough. Don't yeah. watch then. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm a delegate, and I heard about the one-hour special, so I thought I'd come home. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think about an open convention? I think that it should be open, just so I can be nominated. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Okay. Carter Robin. Robin Bird for president. <laughs> Hi. You vote for me, and you won't have to wait. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes? Uh, I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoyed your uh, interview with Samantha. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I would, uh, now that uh, we all know what uh, men think is sexy, what do you think is sexy in men? Gee, you sound like you haven't swallowed it yet. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was wondering if you might, uh, you know, take your uh, clothes off there, you know, so I can sort of get off here. Perhaps, I mean, uh, Pick up on my just okay, don't give on. it for free. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Uh, I think you're extremely articulate, and you're a very lovely-looking lady. And you're an extremely accomplished actress. Why, thank you. Do you watch regularly? Uh, pardon me? Do you watch regularly? Are you um, watching now? <laughs> well, I'm watching now, yes. Uh, I'm watching with my youngest son. Okay, well... He, you... And he is 45 years old. <laughs> well, you keep on watching because we have a film clip from Her Name Was Lisa, starring Robin Bird and Samantha Fox. It's called Pink Ladies. Pink Ladies, sorry, I'm sorry. Pink Ladies is coming up now. And that was Pink Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. It will be showing next Wednesday at the Rendezvous Theater, which is on 54th Street on the west side. Go see it because it is the fun-filled fantasy film of the year. Um, I have absolutely no time for any more phone calls. I'm really sorry. I just have enough time to just quickly dance off and say goodbye. So until next week, keep watching The Hot Leg Show. And if it's an open convention, Robin Bird for president.